ko ranginui e tui hoho nei, ko papatua nuku e takoto nei. Mai ngā kuri a whārei ki te ki rau, mai make tū ki uta mai o taupo nui iātia, ko te rohe kaunihera tēnei o toi moana. Kia toi te whenua, kia toi te moana, kia toi te tai ao, kia toi te tangata. Ti hei mauri ora. The Bay of Plenty region is referred to by Te Arawa Iwi as the region of the water of the gods, Waiariki. Our region is blessed to have this amazing natural resource. It provides warmth, sustenance, biodiversity and a reminder of our rich history. As such, we must manage this resource with respect for today, tomorrow and the future of our region. The Bay of Plenty Regional Council manages geothermal resources under the Resource Management Act 1991. Geothermal water is considered water that is over 30 degrees Celsius. Most of New Zealand's geothermal resources are in the Topol Volcanic Zone, which falls within the Bay of Plenty and Waikato regions. The values of the region's geothermal systems and the way we manage them vary from system to system. This short video shows the context of geothermal in the Bay of Plenty region. There are 12 major geothermal systems in the Bay of Plenty. The regional policy statement requires sustainable management of these systems and categorises these for different values and uses into six management groups. A closer look at some of these systems show the differences. Category 1, Ngā Waiariki Rāhui, Protected Systems. This includes Waimangu, Rotomahana, Tarawera, Whakari and Mautohora. Waimangu is a well-known example of this system type. It has very high natural values including geothermal vegetation and surface features. Whakari, New Zealand's most active volcano, is another unique example. Category 2, Ngā Waiariki o Rotorua, the Rotorua Geothermal System. A special purpose to address the very unique situation of this system. The Rotorua system is smaller than most people think and sits under the Rotorua city centre. Its 1800 geothermal surface features have high cultural and natural values and include some of New Zealand's last remaining geysers. While some use is allowed, it is managed firstly to protect these features. Category 3 Ngā Waiariki Ātafanake Conditional Development Systems These include Tāheke, Tikitere Ruahine, Rotokawa, Mokoya Island and Rotoma Tikorangi. Conditional development systems have potential for development provided effects, especially on surface features, are carefully managed. Not much is known about these systems and most are on private Māori land. Category 4, Ngā Waiariki Whanake, Geothermal Development Systems, Lake Rotoiti, Rotomā, Puhipuhi and Kawarau. Development systems have few surface features. Only Kawarau has been developed to date, including for electricity generation and industrial direct heat, such as timber drying and treatment of pulp. Category 5, Ngā Waiariki Mahana, Low Temperature Systems, Tuhua, Tauranga, Mount Maunganui, Pāpāmoa, Maketū, Awakiri, Pukehinau and Manawoho. These warm water systems range from just over 30 to around 70 degrees and are typically used for domestic heating, horticulture and bathing. The mounts and Awakiri hot pools for example. The Tauranga system, the largest of these low temperature systems, includes part of a large freshwater aquifer with localised warm areas. Category 6 Ngā Waiariki e Rangahaua Tonutia Research Systems These are systems we don't yet know of or know enough about. This category allows for investigation into the characteristics of a system in order to enable its reclassification into the appropriate management group. Sustainable management means different things for each of these very different geothermal systems, but it includes fit-for-purpose management 
to provide the best use of each system. He taonga nui te waiariki. He taonga i yahu mai i ngā ariki. He taonga i karangatia e tō tātou tūpuna o ngā tō roirangi. Kia kahara tātou te tiaki, kia tū tōna mauri, kia toi te mauri ora, kia tātou katoa.